Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all so much for coming. Uh, the Higher Education Authority really appreciates uh, our interactions with uh, uh, esteemed members of the Media Corps, more so you being our featured state. Uh, we, we really appreciate you because we know that uh, it's through our interactions with you that we'll be able to take you know, the conversation of uh, improving quality in higher education further. <clears throat> so as we set up, uh, my name is uh, Bibo Bonfess Msoba. I'm the Corporate Communications Officer with the Higher Education Authority. And um, yeah, as we go on, on a lighter note, as some of you uh, last time uh, actually uh, misspelled, it's not Musonda, it's Musoba. And the first name, I don't know, from the older generations, Ngamlei uh, Bukshat, Bibo Katso. So I just remember that and uh, you'll be able to remember my name. But I hope I haven't opened the Pandora's box to, to being uh, ridiculed by the media. <laughs> but uh, again, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we really, really appreciate this as the Higher Education Authority. Uh, any chance to interact with you, uh, the, uh, the esteemed members of the media, is, is a chance that we relish, and we hope to make this a much regular, um, uh, a much regular encounter. So before we, we start, uh, there are just uh, some you know, housekeeping. Uh, I'll read from a prepared statement. Thereafter, we'll open it up to you, members of the media, for any questions that you might have. And uh, after that, we will we'll, we'll discuss you know, higher education over uh, a cup of tea, because today we're having very good weather. So thank you so much for coming. So. Okay. You ready? Everybody's ready? All right, so we can begin. So this is a press release dated 5th February 2020. HEA orders Copperstone to cease op uh, offering nine engineering learning programs. The Higher Education Authority has directed Copperstone University, a registered higher education institution with registration number HEA stroke 0302 with immediate effect, cease offering the following named learning programs in engineering, Bachelor of Building and Construction, Bachelor of Electrical Engineering, Bachelor of Elec Ele Electronics Engineering, Bachelor of Mining Engineering, Bachelor of Auto Mechanics, Diploma in Electronics Engineering, Diploma in Mining Engineering, Diploma in Motor Vehicle Engineering, and Certificate in Mining Engineering. This secession is according with the provision, this secession is in accordance with the provisions of statutory instrument number 25 of 2016, part three, section 10.1, which states that the, the proprietor of a higher education institution shall not offer a learning program for which it is not accredited. Following a joint inspection with the Engineering Institution of Zambia on Friday, 31st January 2020, HEA concluded that Copperstone should cease to offer the aforementioned learning programs until such a time that they are accredited by the authority. Consequently, the authority is urging all students at Copperstone that were enrolled in the aforementioned learning programs to enroll at alternative higher education institutions that have those programs accredited. Accordingly, all higher education institutions are urged to submit learning programs for accreditation to avoid the same consequences. Furthermore, in accordance with the provisions of statutory instrument number 25 of 2016, part three, section 15, the authority shall, by 31st March 2020, publish in a gazette and daily newspaper of general circulation all the learning programs it has accredited in all higher education institutions in Zambia. So that ends the, the prepared statement that we, uh, we wanted to read from. Uh, at this moment in time, I'll open up the to you, uh, the members of the media, if you have any clarifications or any questions about what, what, what we have just said. Yes. 
just uh, and as you speak, just your, your name and which institution you're representing. Okay. My name is Mayor Bobby from Millennium Radio. Okay. Um, I don't know how many things are affected from Okay, uh, thank you so much for that question. So with regards to that, uh, in terms of uh, knowing the exact number of students, we cannot, uh, as the Higher Education Authority, comment on that with full authority because we haven't yet started indexing the students. So once we start the process of indexing the students, that's when we'll be able to know exactly how many uh, students are enrolled in, in, in each given program. But at this point, uh, at this moment in time, all we can say is that uh, the students that are affected should, uh, we're advising them to enroll in uh, other higher education institutions that are offering the same programs that are uh, offering the same programs that are accredited. So the key is where there is accredited. Yes. Uh, we, we, we cannot fully ascertain how long it has existed, but we are still uh, having conversations with the uh, higher education authority, with the uh, uh, higher education institution, Copperstone, and we hope that as, as we continue having those conversations together with EIZ, we'll be able to establish uh, what has been happening on the ground fully. Like I mentioned, on 31st uh, January, we, we conducted a joint inspection with EIZ, so a, a report on that, a thorough report on that is uh, forthcoming, and we'll be able to update the members of the media. Sorry. Any other questions, please? Yes, please. Yes, um, Copac from Prime TV. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to find out uh, what procedure do you use to monitor the same universities and uh, institutions of higher education to ensure that they are offering the programs which they are directed to offer? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. So, with regards to the procedures that we use, we use uh, two. There's one what is known auditing, and then there's one that is known as inspections. So what happens is that as an, as a higher education institution is registering uh, to off, uh, to, be, to as an institution is registering to offer higher education in Zambia, what we what what they are supposed to do is, is submit three learning programs, a minimum of three learning programs. They can submit as many as they want, but a minimum of three learning programs. So that way the quality assurance begins. But with some institutions, as you know, we there has been a backlog. The authority just kept, uh, began. Uh, was came into existence by the you know as, as, uh, by the passing of the Higher Education Act in 2013, but we only started operating in 2015. Some of these institutions have been already operating, so they, there has been a backlog, a backlog that we're working to to ensure that it uh, we, we 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 catch up on that backlog. So through that, we we use auditing of these institutions. To, to ensure that the, the learning programs are of quality and this auditing is continuous. We also use inspections and uh, we also use um, the, the general public as sort of uh, pseudo inspectors. If they tell us, no, this institution, ABCD is happening, we go in there with our inspectors because our inspectors are empowered by the Higher Education Act number four of 2013 to, to go into an ins institution and inspect that institution. So we use those. But the auditing process is very, very important. We audit the institutions to make sure that you know the standards by which we registered them to make sure that the, the learning programs that they are offering uh, meet the standards, minimum standards that we, we have set for those programs. So the major uh, the tools that we use are auditing and inspection. And mm -hmm. maybe what advice would you give to the public, the general public, in knowing whether this particular university mm. has the right to offer this course? And okay. then what happens to those who have actually gone through the course and probably have graduated? All right. Um, with we with 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 regards to that question, I will start with uh, a f with a blanket statement. There isn't one situation that will fit all of the institutions. So no wonder we approach it as pay institution and as pay situation that is uh, that that is affecting the particular students. But what would uh, edge the students out there? You know, the prospective students out there is that what you need to do is that before you uh, go to a higher education institution, before you go to an institution offering higher education and say you want to enroll, first of all, come to us. Verify with us, is that institution registered? You can go to our website, www.hea.org.zm. There's a list of all the registered higher education institutions. Verify, and like, like we mentioned, like by 31st March, we'll be publishing all 
the accredited learning programs that we have accredited in all the institutions will be doing that. And once we do that, we'll publish it, we'll also put it on our website, and uh, people will be able to see for which institutions, which programs are accredited. But before 31st March, we encourage everybody, if you, if you want to enroll in a program, call us, verify with us, has this program been accredited, and we'll be able to give you that information. So we encourage communication. That's why we have a very active Facebook page. We have a very active Twitter page. We have a very active Instagram page. That's at HEA Zambia. You can find us. Interact with us. We encourage them. Go to our website. Call us. Our doors are always open. My doors, my door is always open. Come through. Call us so that we have that interaction. And if they have that interaction, then it will be impossible for them to enroll in a program that is not accredited or to enroll in an institution that is not registered with us. Any other questions? From the same program at Copperstone specifically. Okay, so with those ones that graduated from the same programs at Copperstone specifically, and now this is, like I said, we, we don't have uh, one situation fits all for all the institutions. So this one is just very specific to Copperstone and those uh, programs that we have mentioned. What will happen to those is that there are, um, the talks that are happening between HEA, EIZ, and the institution itself. We are engaging them, we are engaging EIZ, and we are talking, and after, we, after those talks are done, we'll be able to brief the media on what happens to the graduates. But those uh, conversations have already started, and we'll be able to call you back and brief you on that one as soon as the, 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 there's a solution that has been found. Um, any other questions? Okay, so thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for coming. Uh, before you leave, please just make sure you, you see uh, our lovely intern, Mr. Masero, for, for logistics. And uh, please, if you can go through, there is some uh, food that has been prepared and everything. Let me just check if the, the breakfast has been bought so that we can continue the conversation on our education, not even on off camera, ask me questions, let's, let's interact. Thank you so much. You really make this easy for me, eh? Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you so much.